What's going on everyone? This is another episode of our Gear Up series and this time we're at the Duluth store which is on the other side of Atlanta. Ethan, who is our contestant today, is already in the store and he has his rig ready to be upgraded. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Stay with us. Also, sorry about the wind. Introducing Kyoxia's new XG8 series NVMe SSDs featuring 5th generation Bix Flash 3D TLC memory and PCIe 4.0 compatibility. With capacities up to 4TB and support for optional security features like TCG Pyrite and Opal, Kyoxia drives are perfect for your next desktop, server, or workstation. Sequential reads and writes reach up to 7,000 and 5,800 megabytes per second respectively and are suited for ultra-fast program, OS, and VM load times, bundled with peace of mind warranties and at affordable price points. Kyoxia's comprehensive PCIe 4 SSD portfolio continues to grow, with products offered for a wide range of applications. Check them out, including their new XG8 drives, by clicking the link below. All right, so we're here with Ethan. How you doing, Ethan? I'm doing very well. And uh, he drove out with his rig. So you want to tell us a little bit about the specs that we have currently? So currently we have a Ryzen 5 3600 inside here. We have an RX 6600X from X of X. I think a Cooler Master 71C cooler, and then we have a Asus B550M Wi-Fi. So judging by the rig we have now, we have a micro ATX motherboard. Again, Ryzen 5 3600, possible. He might want to upgrade the platform here. Again, it's going to be up to him though, and uh, really what he spins budget-wise. The graphics card being a 6600 XT, this is already a pretty decent card, but again, depending on what he spins, he might be able to upgrade this as well, possibly upsize that cooler a bit. So uh, we'll see where this goes. Right, so the wheel spin, uh, the baby blues are the highest numbers. 1200 is the highest you can get. I think 650 is the, or no, 600 is the lowest, which is oh, somewhere on here, right <laughs> there. Yeah, there's a couple 600s okay. uh, and then everything in between. So go ahead and give it one solid spin. Here we go. Big money, yeah. <laughs> big money. Can't even see it. Oh, you're good. Spin again! <laughs> it's gonna be my luck. I'm gonna get six. If it hits six hundred again, I don't know. <laughs> oh, baby blue! Give me that boo boo. Oh, okay, all right, yeah, 800 I bucks. I think we can do something with 800 bucks. Absolutely. Cool, all right, so time to get started with the upgrades. Cue in our man, A.A. Ron. I'm sorry, I had to. All right. <laughs> He's our uh, Micro Center specialist. And uh, yeah, I mean, 800 bucks, what do you think we can do with that? Honestly, I think we're gonna do a lot with 800 bucks that a lot of people would probably just blow through with one graphics card purchase. Are we doing that? I don't know. No, I don't know. wait, I, he's entertaining the well, idea. The thing is there's already a solid card in it. So That's we're going to work That's through true. that, yeah. see what's going to be the best upgrade for the dollar. But I'm excited to work with y'all and uh, let's get this thing rolling. You can probably do one of the AMD bundles. Okay. Um, that's the main thing I focus on. So it'd be three main big parts. You already have decent storage, but depending on what's left in the budget, depending on which level of upgrade you go with, mm -hmm. we can reference that. Okay. Okay. So we're thinking possibly starting with the platform. Gonna look there, they have great bundle deals. This is Micro Center after all. <laughs> you currently have AMD, right? Yeah. So your your boot drive is already synced with AMD drivers. Swapping without reinstalling Windows would probably give you some driver conflicts. It's so hard because the thing is I just I just reinstalled Windows like last oh, year. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I don't really care. I already moved all my stuff to my other drive. You you game mostly with this rig, right? Yeah. I'd go with either the 13700 k or the Ryzen 9. Yeah. They're both at the same price and those are both gonna be very very large upgrade. And this comes with DDR5 too. Yep. I mean, both of those kits come with DDR5. So you're uh, getting basically your whole platform for five, 600 bucks. Yeah. Okay, so we think we've decided on what, the 7700X, yeah. right? And that comes with 32 gigs of DDR5 and a pretty beast motherboard as well for 499. 499. So you can have a sizable chunk of your budget left over by upgrading your entire platform yeah. here at Microsoft. That's pretty awesome. That one. I'm out of them in the case. <laughs> no, wait, I'm not, Turns I'm not. out they don't have, they're such a good deal. They don't <laughs> have any more. There it is, look at that. <laughs> There's this guy. Look at so that. Totally, and it even has Wi-Fi on it. That's so you don't want to plug in those pesky wires. Oh yeah, built-in Wi-Fi, that's always clutch. But if you use Wi-Fi on a desktop, you're a little weird. I do that. I know. I don't have any I don't have any RJ45 ports in my house. Who I, I who built my house? <laughs> I, we went through this at the last store too. It's like they made fun of you too? Yeah, oh yeah, Good. well rightfully so. I mean I make fun of myself for it, but hey. So, 
starting with deep cool this is going to be the most budget oriented it's okay. a dual tower dual fan cooler mm -hmm. for 65 bucks those do extremely well yeah absolutely yeah it's like the most affordable like value option yeah, that I, does the job well right I really i really think it will be yeah that's absolutely. smart he's gonna have a lot of i think he's gonna have a lot of room left over in his budget to probably scale up some other things he wasn't thinking he was, I was expecting to. you to go water cool too yeah so, this yeah, is actually this i think is, it's a smart choice this is a smart choice well look, here i'll let you do the honor nice You've got more than half a build there. I know, it's crazy. <laughs> You've actually got a little, you got like, what, 230 something dollars left in your budget? Yeah, it's crazy. So I, obviously not enough here for a, a graphics card replacement over your 6600 you already have. Right. But you could go more storage, you could go uh, bigger power, but you have a 600 watt unit right now? Correct. So I think we decided on the Inland brand, which is the in-house uh, version of storage, and it's the cheapest. It has a really good warranty, apparently, yes. yeah. uh, which is which is awesome. I see no harm there. So, and uh, it's, and, yeah, gonna save us some money. Yeah, and it comes in Gen 3 and Gen 4 options. So you Ooh, choose, question, you Gen 3, Gen 4. Gen My question actually has Gen 5 now. I think no I'm pressure. Go Gen three. Gen three. Yeah, I do. Uh, I do. My, he's trying to save some money in that I, budget. He's, he's he's leaving his options yeah, open. I like, I like this. I like it. So another cool thing it says three fifty. This drive is actually a hundred dollars. So One hundred bucks. The pricing on these little tags is usually MSRP. So always double check on the website to see what the price actually is. What's up, Jacob? This is incredibly cheap. I don't have this. I have one of the floppy disk things. You have a floppy, floppy, you have a floppy what disk? What's this called? It's a hard drive. Okay, yeah, that's what I have. <laughs> you, you, you do that's not. Have you do not drive. have a three and a half inch hard drive in your rig. Yeah. Well, maybe for maybe for games, but like your primary drive is not. That's how I play Apex. It's it's <laughs> this buggy is getting nice and full. Look at that. I think we still have around 130 or so bucks left to spend. Who knows? So they are still deciding what they want to do with the remaining budget. There's a lot of options here. I heard case came up once, uh, power supply, even <laughs> upgrading CPUs. They can go with a 7900X bundle. So- uh, I heard balls, we it, don't know. <laughs> balls, here. there's balls. Jacob's obsessed with this, the so. Best brand ever, <laughs> sponsor us please. You sound like you want to go rise a nine. If you do, do it. Okay, can I send it? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so, all right. The whole thing about him going like this earlier, we're just doing undoing it. <laughs> So we've upgraded uh, platforms all around now. And uh, that shrinks the budget down to, I think what, we have 30, 30 something dollars remaining? $35 left. $35 left? 35 bucks will give you what? Cable extensions, uh, additional I fans? Think, I think we can do fans and I think we can actually do cable extensions. Wow, so, so if you wanna sure. you know, spice it up aesthetically, look at that. Yeah. I like that we're downsizing and avoiding RGB where necessary. Yes. I actually <laughs> admire this. That's gonna get me crucified in the comment section, but this is a this is awesome. It is dark, dark case. Yeah. Yep, oh, sure. no, no, nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna say it. Some of the best looking PCs have no RGB. It's true. Oh it's true. So this is where we play Soldier Boy and walk in slow motion. <laughs> you can do that, right? Did Soldier Boy walk in slow motion? No, no. I but mean, we overlay Soldier oh. Boy on it. You know what? You know, never no. mind. Anyway. <laughs> Were you about to start singing? <laughs> <laughs> Were you singing just now? Oh my god! I just said you. Okay, so we've <laughs> so we've got our uh, stack here of stuff, and uh, now it's time to go check out. There it goes, Jesus. all being scanned in. A lot of boring math later. Right. Okay. So now it's time to unbox everything we just bought yep. <laughs> and uh, start loading it up into the new rig. You're basically building a whole new system at That's this point, crazy. so it's going to be a totally totally new rig. I'm so excited. Oh, uh, actually, if you want to upgrade, I mean, you can be hands on if you want. It's totally up to you. I, I always worry. Sure. Yeah. yeah you want to do it? I brought you a gift. Yo. <laughs> oh, dude, this thing has some meat to it. I know. It's oh, man. I'm, I'm finally, I'm, I'm finally accepted into the iFixit family. Right Is here. it that? Here, I'll push down on that for you and then just pull straight up. Actually, let's get underneath it. There you go. Oh, there and we'll go. set this to the side since we're gonna be reusing it later. Okay, Ethan's got the power supply unscrewed. Slide this old one out. Now, those of you, actually, this is stupid because we're not even upgrading this, technically. Correct. So why are we doing this? Mm, boy, that's that sweet, sweet pill. You got one right there. Oh. They give you lots of goodies on this board. And you got one over the chipset down here. There you go. Nice and easy. Then you can lower the, it's good, that'll come off on its own. You can go ahead and pull. It's going to be pretty tough, but push it really? this hard. Yep, yeah. keep going. And then latch it right under that thing. Perfect, there you go. Oh, wow. That wasn't so bad. Okay, on goes the cooler. And actually, 
really it's cool. it's really convenient that uh, they bundled a lower profile kit of DDR5 with this. Cause yeah. see, let me get them on that side, Jacob. You can see there's actually about what two or three centimeters worth of space there. So uh, that worked out really well. Oh yeah, you know we gotta get this on camera. <laughs> this is the good stuff here. That is a sweet, sweet peel. Now it's time for the platform swap. So income, you can just grab it here actually. Just make sure you grab it on the cooler side, like right there. Yep, okay. so that's not gonna detach itself, yep. And then, and then uh, you got integrated IO shield, so just line that up with the case. Everyone on YouTube, close your eyes. <laughs> Jacob, where's my hammer? Oh, okay. Uh -huh. So the update is, uh, we're just wiring stuff up now. This is the boring part. Simple no, wiring. This is the, the fun part. This is the fun part. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No way. Yeah, that's right. I was about to say, this is, uh, yeah, this is boring, but. You gotta get all the clips. Yeah, if I, if I was Mr. Beast, these numbers would have extra zeros behind them, but yeah. uh, we're broke, so. Shout out to Shaq. Wait, I gotta zoom in way over on his face. <laughs> is he legit that tall? Yeah, it's supposed to be a life size cutout. Yeah, you're good. A little bit of force. Nice, just like that. There yeah, and then we'll tighten it down at the rear. You can connect the uh, eight pin there. And then we'll just clean up cable management just a tad. Okay, and now it looks like everything is good to go. Were you looking at Shaq earlier? <laughs> and uh, front panel. Mm, boy, this is looking pretty juicy. You gotta put the right panel on, but uh, yeah, this bad. looks pretty freaking baller. All right, you ready for the boot? Uh, yeah, All right. right, let's see it. Hopefully it turns on. I'm gonna feel really awkward oh, if it doesn't. Maybe, maybe I should do that. Oh, yeah, right, Jacob there should, go. there you go. Okay, we have fan spinning. That's a good, that's a good sign. I know the camera can't really pick those up right now. Oh, debug LEDs. So we're gonna oh be God. looking for a post. Oh, we have debug LEDs now on this board, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's a start. It gets you somewhere in case you have issues. Come on, looking for that post. So this is AM5. It takes a little longer to boot, especially with two dims, but uh, we should be getting a post here any yeah. second. There it is. Hey. Looking good. So you, my friend, uh, might need to have a few drivers updated. Windows should take care of most of that. Okay. But uh, because you've got the same graphics card in there, honestly, you shouldn't even need to update graphics drivers. Okay. Um, might need to tweak your fan curves a bit. This, by the way, barely fits in your case, but yeah. I think that's pretty cool, nice and compact. That's just TPM resetting there. That's all it's telling you about. But uh, yeah, I think it looks really good, especially seeing as though you don't have the rainbow puke RGB anymore. <laughs> Slightly sad, but it's going under my desk, so I don't mind anyways. It kind of oh, sick. under the desk? It is. You can't tell, you can't tell YouTube that. It's, it's, going, it's going on top. It's going on a ceiling. It's going on the roof. Oh, and by the way, uh, Ethan said that he is going to be upgrading his current power supply, which yes, is cutting it kind of close with this rig currently. It's a 600 watt unit, remember? With this beast right here, an RM850X, which you actually probably saw in an earlier episode of the Gear Up series as well. Um, so this is a tried and true unit. Cost him about 140, 150 bucks. Yeah. So he's gonna upgrade that when he gets home. But uh, yeah, now he's definitely got a well-rounded system that uh, is also a bit future-proof as well. Right, so here we are, the rig turns on, and I gotta say, it not only looks a lot better, but it's gonna be so much more powerful oh, than what, the 3600, right, that you had in here to begin with? Uh, yeah, the 3600. Ah, you're on a 7900X now? I know, I know. Are you an overclocker? I, I've never messed with it. No. Okay. Well, this chip is really powerful, and even though you still only have that 6600 in here, mm -hmm. it's gonna be a great 1080p gamer, and even 1440p, I'd wager, yeah. you can pull off of this as well. Yeah. So, uh, what do you think? How do you think it turned out? Oh my out? gosh, I am so excited. I cannot wait to go home and use this. Basically, on Minecraft, I would have stuttering, which, I mean, it's Minecraft. It should be the easiest game to run, but I would have frame stuttering, and I think... Oh, I know that the, the new chip in here is definitely going to eliminate that issue. It's definitely going to eliminate that issue. <laughs> Coming from a Minecraft gamer, 100% can attest to that. Well, I, I'm glad that you're walking out here with a, uh, a much nicer rig, totally revamped. Thanks for being part of the Gear Up series. And uh, here comes the awkward handshake. I'm going to pivot to fist bump, fist uh, bump. Uh, uh, anyway, <laughs> see you guys in the next one. Oh, God. <laughs> you can stop filming now, Jacob, please. <laughs> Good old Shaq. <laughs> oh, I can at least shake his hand. Hey, it's Aaron. <laughs> so I, I got to give you a shout because we're not going to see you tomorrow, apparently. Maybe we will? Maybe. I won't be in my work attire, but I'll definitely be around. Maybe you can just like hang out a little bit and maybe point us in the right direction. Yes. Cool, cool. Well, thanks for the help, man. Really appreciate it. Awesome. <laughs>